Today is the start of a brand new modded hardcore series and it contains a lot of awesome mods. First of all, we've got dragons in here. Then we've got sea serpents and sirens that will terrorize the oceans. And on land there are more creatures that will haunt us. When we enter the end there will be many beautiful biomes to discover. There are plenty of new animals around this time too. And we've got a bunch more mods. Our objective for today is to survive all of this. All we gotta do is not get eaten by dragons. Yeah, sounds simple enough. If you do end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind. So yeah, that's that and here's what you're about to see. Welcome to the very first episode of this series. Here we are in our brand new world. There is actually some sort of mission we have today. In the previous series I always started an episode by adding a few layers to this beacon. Since we don't have that anymore we need something new. Some of you suggested to plant a few hundred melons at the start of each episode, which is exactly what Watsi is doing in his hardcore Minecraft series. You probably know him, he's got like a few more subscribers than me but not really a noticeable amount. So I decided to accept this idea, but I'm not planting 200 melons like him. No, I'm gonna go for 500 melons each episode. One day we're gonna take over the spot for the biggest melon farm. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. In order to complete this mission I will have to find some melons. Our objective has officially been changed from just plain surviving to surviving and finding melons. Alright, let's check these houses. Hello villager. Yeah, gonna take your bed. Alright, what do we have up here? We got two more houses. Let's see if there's anything valuable in here. Nope, there are no chests. Hopefully there's one here. Nope all empty. I mean it's good that I found a village but there's absolutely nothing useful here. Oh this is nice, we've got a little bit of lava and even a little cave and iron. Yeah I think we're gonna go for a quick mining session. I gotta quickly mine this tree before it burns down. Alright we got six oak logs. First we need a pickaxe to get some cobblestone. And this is a really good start and it's actually the first world I created. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my Oh my god, what was that? I definitely have to be a lot more careful without an armor. There we go, now we've got all the tools that we need. Alright, I definitely need some bread right now. Oh yeah, 30 bread, that, sh that should feed me for a while. Alright, now it's time for iron. We already have 18 from this little cave here. We almost already have a full iron armor. This is going way too fast. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, more iron. I think we already have enough for a full armor. All right, first let's get some armor on. And there we go. Already a little bit of protection. Which way do we want to go next? We're pretty much already equipped. So all we gotta do is maybe a search for a jungle. Hopefully we'll find some melons in there. Oh wait, we have a bed from the village. I can just go to bed. And day one is actually complete. And now we've got actually full iron armor. Hopefully we have enough to make a few more tools. We've got eight more. Yeah, that should that should be enough. Yeah. First, let's make a iron sword. That's always useful. Didn't even get to use my stone sword. And if you actually check the map, we've got another village on the other side. So definitely gonna check that one out. And we have arrived. Oh yes, more hay bales. That's always useful especially in the beginning oh wait i forgot to get the waste from the other village that ah, doesn't matter i'm just gonna take this one wait what kind of hut is this we've got some books and a jar which we can use to catch some pixies dude we're getting so much loot already on day two and we've got another tower so let's check this chest yeah they're always empty and it's already getting dark you can see the sun getting down it's time for a quick nap look at all these advancements we've made here we go on day three Look at these caves. Did biomes of plenty also update the caves? Let's go check out this cave. This is huge. Whoa, okay, okay. Let's see how deep it actually goes. <gasps> no, I threw down my sword. Oh no, I wanted to throw down a torch. Oh my god. I just threw a sword onto a creeper. All right, should we go on a rescue mission? Probably not a very good idea, but I do need that sword. All right, how are we gonna do this? Are there any mobs there? No, okay. Can I jump down, grab it, and then just run? <gasps> Ooh, skeleton, skeleton. Let's go, let's go. We can do it, we can do it. Oh my god, it's a creeper. Oh, that was a bad decision. That was a really bad decision. Okay, so there's the exit, and... Ooh, well, let's see how we're gonna manage to get over there without dying. The skeleton is so annoying. Okay, I'm kind of running out of blocks now, so... Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. Alright, time to finally leave this dark place. Finally, we are completely out. 
All right, so we've got quite a bit of iron, so we can make a wooden shield and then upgrade it to stone and then upgrade it to iron. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, then let's craft another one of those. And now we can make a iron shield. Oh, look at that. We are looking really strong already. All right, so the next step is definitely making a backpack because we've got so many things and I have a feeling we're going to pick up a lot more things. So we've got a bunch of cows and we've got a bunch of sheep. There we go. We've got nine. Okay, that's enough. And now we just got to kill all these cows. Yes, perfect. We only need two more. Hold on, hold on. Before we continue this road, I mean, there's there's definitely a dragon up there. All right, just gonna get a quick sneak peek, but... <gasps> what? How did it already find me? How did it already find me? No, 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 please. This is such a good start. I can't lose this world. Okay, just stay up there. Then it's all good, okay? Okay, yeah. Definitely not want to be near that guy. You know what? But I do want the gold that is in his nest. Maybe we can circle around and try to loot his stuff. Okay, so we've reached the top. So the dragon should be around here. So we gotta be really, really careful. So there's the dragon nest and there's a dragon. Okay, gotta run away. There is no chance I'm gonna survive an attack by that dragon. Oh, he's right behind me. And there's a pillager. Oh, <gasps> Oh man, this is a really, really dangerous place. And the dragon is still here. Oh, he's fighting some pillagers. Oh my god, you saw how quickly he died. That's gonna be me if I'm not careful. Wait. <gasps> oh. oh my god, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh my god, there's a ravine, there's a little ravine. We gotta hide on here. What? Oh, we made it. Wait, no, we didn't make it. I need air, I need air. Oh my god, we're gonna use this tactic. Just spamming a water bucket against a wall. I gotta go into the wall. God, okay, the dragon can't reach us from down here. That was so close. All right, I'm not trying that again. I'm not trying that again. Oh my god, there's the ice dragon nearby. I know I said I'm not gonna try it again, but you know what? I, I just really want to show the ice dragon my new iron armor. Oh, we're getting really close. I can already see it on the map. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna attack it, but I just want to take a look. Maybe we can snatch a little bit of loot. Oh no, I can already hear the dragon. All right, we're at the ice. Okay, okay, hopefully we don't wake it up. So shader's off so we can see better. And there is the dragon, our first stage four dragon. All right, there are no diamonds right near us, but a lot of mobs. Okay, okay. Wait, <gasps> okay, okay, we got it, we got it. No way. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, this is so useful. <gasps> Sharpness three, look at that. This was the best decision by far. Oh my god, feather falling four? You gotta be kidding me. All right, as long as the dragon does not wake up, everything will be fine. Okay, I'm I'm a little too close. I'm really a little... <gasps> Diamonds, yeah. We are already full diamond. Okay, it's definitely time to leave before the dragon wakes up and we lose everything that we got. Oh, we finally made it out. How can it be that I'm wandering around for 20 minutes and there's still no single cow? We finally got one. Please, please, you gotta drop one. <gasps> it does. There we go, all ingredients in here. And we've got a medium backpack. Everything fits perfectly. We even have a lot of space left. All right, so now the next step is to find a location where I can start the 500 melon farm and also my base. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that base is gonna be massive. In this episode, we are gonna build a house, a small little hut that we can store all of our stuff and that will just be our starter house. And for this starter house, we do need a bit of spruce wood. Okay, how many do we have? We got a little bit over the stack. Yeah, that should be enough. We also need a little bit of dark oak wood. And if we check the map, it's the biome with the mushrooms. There's definitely dark oak wood. And we have arrived at the biome. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dark oak. Oh, here's some free locks. And we are done. We've got a little bit over two stacks. That should be plenty. Now we just have to find a nice spot for our house and our melon farm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it in the swamp. That's not really a good place. We need like a big, big landscape. Preferably flat and without a lot of trees. Oh no, we've got these birds. Gotta get my shield. All right, maybe we, maybe we can kill one and then the rest will leave us alone. These guys are gnarly. Come on, one more hit. <gasps> we got one, we got one. All right, they're trying to fly away, but they're in the water. Yeah, now they're going, now they're going. Oh, we've got some pixies over there. Wait, 
We can actually catch them. Oh my god, do we want to try it? But they may steal our stuff. You know what? Risk it. We're gonna risk it. All right, all right. Okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. Stop, stop it. Just come, come back. Come. Dude, no, no, no. I need a golden apple. You can steal something else. Come on. Oh my god, how is it so fast? There we go. All right, can I catch it? Oh, I did. All right, let's grab two more. Come back. <gasps> there we go. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got three different types. So let's check out this location. Hopefully there's some good stuff inside. Oh, so these are ruins. You know what? This is actually a very good location. I mean, it's a lot of space, a lot of flat land. All I have to do is just get rid of all this grass with water and also make sure that I don't run into the hydra. Yep, this is definitely going to be the place where I build my base. Let's start off by placing water everywhere so we can flush out all this grass just like this. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. We actually had to do this in the last series as well, but last time it wasn't grass, it was roses. You know, this here right here, this seems like a good spot for our little hut. Maybe we can even use these ruins. We just gotta clear them out and maybe we can fix them later on. All right, we got all our stuff out here. First, we got to prepare all of our items. All of the items that we need are ready now. This is pretty much all I need. Maybe a few things are missing for decoration, but we can always get that later. Let's start with a build. Okay, so the ground layer is done. All we gotta do is now place the stairs around it. Looking pretty nice already. And now we go with the dark oak pillars. Next step is to connect them all. Now we've got to make the pillars for the entrance. And before the sun goes down, let's quickly place in all the windows. So we need stripped oak lock on the top and bottom. And here we're going to have some oak trapdoors. All right, we are done. Now we just got to get rid of the skeleton and go to bed. Ah, oh, nice and cozy. And now we've got a door. All right, let's move to the second layer. This is going to be our second floor. It's all coming together. And again, this is just a starter house. Our real base is going to be a lot, lot bigger. Now let's go to the middle. We got to place a few of these stripped oaks we got all of them in place okay the next step is to connect the roof it's already looking pretty good and just like that it's filled in and now we're pretty much done with the roof all we gotta do now is work on the decoration let's place some of these lanterns over here yeah i think that's a perfect place place one on each corner our little japanese starter house looks pretty good so we have a bunch of these signs and we're gonna place it all around the house and now we add one layer at the top and you know what? In the sign in the middle above the door, we are going to write something. And it's this. And I'm not going to tell you what it means, but if you can find out, well, then let me know in the comments. You can't really see it, but it's just got to have that word on there. All right, let's close the door and have another look. You know what? I think these signs actually fit. And all we got to do now is add all these barrels and chests. Let's go grab our bed and sleep for the first time in the house. All right, we got to go to the top layer and we've got a bed here. Oh yeah, that's the perfect spot. Let's place some lanterns over here because it's getting pretty dark in here at night and now we can place some barrels at the top so we always have a bunch of storage space and now we got to place the last two chests and we are done we've got furnaces crafting table a few barrels and up here we've got everything set up we can still add a little bit of decoration later on if we need it but yeah that's pretty much the house and i think that's gonna be perfect for the start what do you guys think of this house i think it's pretty cool all right so the next thing we are going to do is find some melons and then we can start our melon farm somewhere around here. I mean, we've got enough space for that. Wait, what is this? Oh, another pillager outpost. We got more of these. There's a bunch of them coming. All right, you know what? I do want that loot. Oh, okay. That's some weird looking loot. Oh, no. I gotta go. I gotta go. Wait, is that an iron golem? We gotta free him, boys. We gotta free him. Free iron golems. Oh my god, we freed him. He's killing the pillagers. We need to free him. Then we can take out all the pillagers. Let's go. Okay, we can take it. We can take over this outpost. Oh my god, we're taking them all on. Come on. Come on, golem. We can do this. Come out. Come out. You're free to go, my man. Oh, the golem is taking a lot of damage. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I gotta help him. I gotta help him. Oh my god, he's wrecking them all. Dude, how much health? Oh, he's got. he's still got 22. Okay, you can do it. You're free. Run away. Wait, what is that? Oh my god. Oh, we are definitely gonna check this out. Is this a mansion? This is epic. Yo, this is crazy. 
Where's the entrance? I just hope I don't die in here. I guess we'll just enter from here. Oh my god, there's so many rooms here. Is this some kind of prison? Alright, let's go check the left side of this mansion. Oh, so here they're storing saplings for some reason? You know what, I'm gonna turn off the shader because the lightning is really bad in here. Oh yeah, this is much, much better. Alright, let's go discover some other rooms. We've got another empty room here. Seems like this entire floor is just made out of unnecessary rooms. Let's go to the top level. All right, we got one of these vindicators again. Looks like we still have a greater reach even with the diamond sword. Oh, we got a free bow. Oh, oh my God. There we go, put on the shield. Oh my God, I'm on one heart. I'm on one heart. Oh my god. Okay, before I forget it, I need to place a waystone down. Oak Mansion. So we can always return to this place. Oh. Oh, I hate these little guys. They are so annoying. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's too much, that's too much, that's, that's just too much, we gotta go. Alright boys, we, we'll come back another time, when we've got better stuff. But right now, I mean, I'm gonna get easily killed. We have a waystone here, so we can always come back. Oh, if you check the map, there is a dragon before us, so let's take a little detour and go around it. Yeah, it's definitely coming towards me. We gotta run, we gotta run. Oh yeah, it's definitely behind me. Oh, it looks like it's getting distracted by all the mobs there. Yeah, it's going for other mobs. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, there's another dragon. Oh, there's a village. Let's go to the village. All right, let's 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 check. All right, there's nothing in the hut. Uh, what do we have? <gasps> Wait, we got melons. Oh no, the dragon is here. Oh my god, we found medals. We found them, finally. But there's a dragon on our tail. Oh, there is a lightning dragon. Oh, you know what? We're gonna lure this dragon to the lightning dragon. Well, if I survive. Wait, where's the, where did the dragon go? Oh, it worked. They're fighting against each other. What? Oh my god, we're, we're definitely gonna look. We're gonna look at them. And there's a cockatrice behind them. Yo. Oh, did you see the electro bombs? They're fighting in the air. Yo. Oh my god, a battle between dragons in our first episode. Yo, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? What do you think? Pause the video and comment who you think is gonna win. <laughs> Oh, the lightning dragon is done. The lightning dragon is done. Oh, that means we can loot it. Wait, how much health does the fire dragon still have? Oh, never mind. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a sea serpent. Hell no. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm just surrounded by all kinds of creatures. All right, the fire dragon seems to be distracted, so I'm gonna quickly try to loot this guy. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh my god, please. Where is it? Let me, let me just loot him. We actually got lightning dragon scales. We did it. We did it. Oh, we got 21 electric blue scales. Only three more and we had a full dragon armor. But we do have something useful in the village and that's melons. And we got to get that before the dragon burns it all off. I'm pretty sure there should be melons up there. So I'm going to try to avoid the dragon there. And uh, yeah, villagers run, run. What are you doing? Okay, I can't see the dragon anymore. I have no idea where it went. So I actually have to wait until these melons grow. Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, there's another waystone in the village. You know what? I'm going to use that to get back to the base. The whole village is gone, dude. Melons! What? How did I not see this? Oh my god, we got them. We got them. We finally got them. We don't have to wait for the seeds. Well, that's enough. That's enough. We just gotta go. We just gotta get the hell out of here. And home. Oh my god, we made it. We finally made it after such a long time. Okay, now we just gotta store everything that we got in these chests. Everything that we got is now in storage. We're gonna add a few flowers everywhere. Yeah, this just makes the house look much prettier. Okay, now we gotta look for a place for all the melons. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna start our melon farm right here and we're gonna expand it in this direction 500 each episode so we gotta plan 500 this episode oh man that's gonna take another long time well at least for me for you guys it's gonna be real quick first we do need to craft two of these hoes because there's a lot of land that we need to i guess hoe down and we're gonna start at this line so the plan is to plant 250 on one side and 250 on the other side then we've got 500 in total oh yeah the sun is shining bright, so let's get to work. So 
So this is the end. That is quite a long way. And the thing is that we have to do this in the other direction as well. All right, so here we have it from here all the way back there. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a really, really long line. I did not expect it to be this much. All right, we've got both directions ready. All we gotta do now is place the water and afterwards we can start to plant some melons. We've reached the end of this lane and we are finally ready to plant some melons. So currently we have 61 melons ready. It will take some time to get to 500, but I guess we'll just have to spend some nights farming some bones and that will be done. And now let's plant some melons. And we're finally at the last melon. So this is what 61 melons look like. Imagine 500. So we're gonna let them grow and I'll be back when they're finally grown and we can play some more melons. After hours of standing here AFK, we've got a bunch of melons now. They're all grown up. Let's see how many we end up with. And the last melon, we come up to more than four stacks, almost five stacks. That's really, really good. Yeah, let's just get to planting them again. And now we continue on the other side. So we've got it filled up to there and we've got a little bit more to go. Actually, not that much. Well, I think it's time to check on the melons again. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see, a bunch of melon grown. Now we definitely have enough. All right, we haven't collected all of the melons, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be enough already. Oh yeah, this is definitely enough. We are almost there and we have planted 500 melons. It is finally complete. This took actually a lot of time, but it's done and we're gonna do this at the beginning of every episode. But at that point, we're gonna have a bunch of melons to plant and everything should be ready. All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching to the end and again if you have a challenge for me to do let me know in the comments and i'll pick one for the next episode